the pH scale measures the concentration of hydrogen ions in a solution and goes from 0 to 14 with 7 being in the middle is neutral, where the hydrogen ions and the hydroxide ions are equivalent. As you move up on the pH scale, you get more hydroxides, and as you go down on the pH scale, you get more hydrogens. And so acids have a lot of hydrogens and bases have a lot of hydroxides, as you can see with the molecules at the bottom. During a neutralization reaction, we take an acid, like hydrochloric acid, which is hydrogens attached to chlorines, and a base, which is some sort of um, chemical that is a metal attached to a hydroxide, like sodium hydroxide. And when we place them into a uh, container with each other, the hydrogens detach from the acid and the OHs detach from the base, which means then that the metal and the non-metal attach to each other to form what scientifically is called a salt, in this case, literal table salt, sodium chloride. And what's left over, the H's and the OH's make, oh my chemical goodness, H2O's, which is our good friend, water. These substances then will exist together in a solution at the end, um, which is made of different substances, salt and water, than we started out with hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. It also brings the pH of the substance much closer to a neutral 7 than the acid, which was a very low pH, and the base, which was a very high pH to begin with. These types of reactions are also typically associated with a release in energy, and since they're a chemical reaction, we see at least one of the signs of chemical change that is associated with a chemical reaction. Like here, when we mix vinegar, which is a weak acid, and baking soda, which is a weak base together, we get this fizzing and bubbling, which is a sign that a chemical reaction is occurring between the two chemicals, and we get a gas being released. In order to neutralize an acid or a base, you need something from the other side of the pH scale. So if you had an acid with a pH of six, a weak acid, and a base with a pH of eight, they will neutralize each other to be seven because all of the hydrogens and hydroxides will combine to form water if equal amounts are added because they're equal distances from seven. Things get a lot trickier though if you're going to be looking at substances that are different strengths or different distances from seven because if we're looking at a base with a pH of 10, trying to neutralize an acid with a pH of two, um, that two is actually 100 times stronger than the 10 because every step away from seven is 10 times stronger because the scale is logarithmic. So you're going to need either a larger concentration of the base with a pH of 10 or a larger amount of it to neutralize the acid with a pH of two.